have to wait. They'll be safer in my hands. Dix died in a car accident. It was a blue car, leather seats, plastic bird hanging from the rear view mirror. Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome to Fast Cuts. Today we are here with another sci-fi movie. The film we are going to watch today is the 2014 film Lucy starring Scarlett Johansson as the main character. So let's look deep into this interesting and different movie. One cell splits into two, then four, then eight, then 16, indicating that all the life forms we have today started from a single cell. The film begins like this. The world we see today is created around us billions of years ago. Thus, this film finds the answer to the narrator's question. What have we done so far with this life that we got billions of years ago? After the film's title card, we first see a female monkey sitting on the bank of a river and drinking water. As we can see in the sequel of the film, this monkey has a special consideration in this film. After showing the monkey from many years ago, we then see many scenes of present-day Taiwan. We can understand from their behavior that these are people who know each other. The two people standing in front of a hotel were talking about something. Now he is trying to convince Lucy. He tells Lucy that if you pay attention to what I am saying, we can do it like a putt, and by doing this, we can both go both ways. She asks him back, if the incident was that easy, she would have done it herself. To which he says that if I go there with this, the people standing there will not take it well, and that is why he needs your help. Lucy then tries to change the subject by asking if he doesn't trust her when he looks at the suitcase in his hand and asks what's in this box to make it even more of a problem. We are told that they were at a party together the other day. When they start to break up after his event, he may be equating Lucy with this quotation. His name is Richard, so Lucy tells Richard that it's time for her not to mind her own business, she has some work to do and an exam to write in two days, so she turns and walks off to study. Then Richard grabs her by the arm and stops her and tells her nonchalantly that he once went to a museum and saw the first woman in the world, and her name was Lucy. Later, when we see Lucy in the museum, we can see that it is the monkey who sat and drank water by the river we saw at the beginning of the movie. As Lucy starts to leave saying why are you telling me all this, Richard tells Lucy that he will tell the truth and that he has had some problems with people who shouldn't have given this to him in the past and if they see me with this now, they won't like me and that's why I'm leaving you and if you leave with this, Richard tells Lucy that they won't do anything to you. Says Richard tells her that you go inside the hotel with this box and call a man named Jang at the reception. All you have to do is give him this suitcase and after that, you can come down from there and go anywhere you want. Now what happens to Lucy is shown by comparing a mouse to a mousetrap next to it. We see a baby mouse next to a mousetrap as Richard tries to lure Lucy in by saying things. We know that if this rat walks around it like this and looks at the food prepared in it, it will not take much time to get caught in that trap. Saying things like that, Richard asks Lucy to go inside. Now when Lucy again asks Richard what is so dangerous in that box, he tells her that these are some company's papers and that people steal them from other companies and they make small corrections and so on. So when she asks him to open it and show it to her if there is paper in it, Richard replies that this box is locked and only Mr. Jang knows the code to open it. He tells her that he is just a delivery boy and he only delivers things like this to other people. When she asks what will you get out of this, he tells her that you will get $1,000. Lucy almost realizes that $1,000 is a bit hard to believe and that this is something else. Richard tries to convince her that if you deliver it for me, I can give you half of what I get, but she tries her best to escape. Richard's character suddenly changes. He takes her by the hand, locks her in a box, and tells her to go inside the hotel. With no choice, Lucy calls him a badass and walks inside. After opening the door, Lucy went to the reception of the hotel and more. Looking for Jang. After picking up a book, the receptionist calls someone. After talking to him for a while, he asks her name. She says Richard's name and says that the person on the other side should know the name of the person who has come. When he asks her name, again and again, she finally says Lucy. She looks outside and sees Richard standing outside. As Lucy stands looking at him muttering, the receptionist tells the person on the other side that her name is Lucy. So after some talk, the receptionist tells Lucy to stay where she is standing, and Mr. Jang's people will be there now. So, after some time, some people who seem to be Mr. Jang's people come down to the hotel lobby. 
Immediately after landing, one of them takes the gun in his hand and shoots and kills Richard who is standing outside. Another person gives money to the receptionist and sends him away. They grab Lucy, who is scared and shaking, and take her to the elevator. After they get into it and go upstairs, they bring her to Mr. Jang's room. Lucy looked around as she was brought in and seated. Looking like that, she sees that a person has been killed inside. A man in a coat and suit is standing with blood all over his hands. He came down from there when he knew that Lucy had come. Mr. Jang is the one who comes down wiping the blood on his hands with a cloth. She looks at Mr. Jang who walks up to her and tells him that she doesn't know anything. This box was given to me by Richard. She said. She continues saying, if you can't take this box, please don't cut off my hands. Mr. Jang comes to her and asks his men to hold her and sit her across a table. Then he picks up a phone and calls someone. He is told that Mr. Jang should talk to Lucy as a translator. So Lucy cries telling him that she made a mistake and that she doesn't know anything about it and that she should tell Jang to please leave him alone. But when Mr. Jang asks her what's in the box she brought, Lucy repeatedly tells Mr. Jang that it was the case Richard left her and that she doesn't know anything else. After talking to her again, Mr. Jang took a piece of paper, wrote a number, gave it to Lucy, and went out. But when Lucy sees the people standing inside quickly take a shield and hold it towards Lucy, when Lucy asks the person on the phone what it is that gave her this, he says that it is the code to open the box, and he must open it quickly and tell Mr. Jang what is in it. Jang tells her to open the box as soon as Richard can't be trusted, and that's why he's standing outside. So when they open the box with her, she saw four packets of blue colored powder inside the box. Then Mr. Jang realizes that there is no problem and walks inside and looks at the packet in the box. Taking a knife, Mr. Jang pierced a packet and tore it open and put some powder on a plate with a straw. A drug addict is brought and asked to use the powder to test whether it is original. But after a while, he inhaled a portion of it and laughed out loud as if he was on edge. So Mr. Jang, who was looking at his smile for a while, took a gun and shot him dead. Looking at Lucy sitting right in front of all this, Mr. Jang says I will give you a job. Lucy said that she didn't want any of his work, she pleaded to just leave her alone. Someone immediately knocked her out. After that, it is displayed in the screen 1%. Later we see a professor taking a class at a university. He is talking about the changes and evolutions that have occurred in living things over the years. He tells the people gathered there that the first neuron was generated in the earth after billions of years after the evolution of earth. It is taught that humans do not use their full brain capacity and that dolphins use their brains more. It is said that if we increase our brain capacity by 20%, we can even control others. But when Lucy wakes up after being unconscious for a while, she is lying on a bed. Lucy notices that her stomach hurts while sitting up and realizes that her stomach has been torn and is being stitched and bandaged. Looking around she can see the tools used for this. Then one of Mr. Jang's men comes into the room and gives her a dress to change into and asks her to come out of the room immediately. When Lucy came out and asked Mr. Jang who was sitting in front of her what had been done to her stomach, a man walked in introducing himself as the doctor who operated on her. He says we didn't take any of your organs and the scar on your stomach will go away in six weeks. Lucy said that she doesn't want to know about the wound and drug in the packet she carried in her stomach. In fact that packet contained a chemical compound called CPH4. The Do doctor told her that teenagers in Europe are crazy about these chemicals. It is enough to deliver this powder there, he was telling her that three other people had packets on their stomachs like this and some other people came walking there, he sees them and talks to them. The doctor buys plane tickets and other things from the hands of Mr. Jang for the people who have come there and tells them that they should land safely at their places as given in this. He puts a black cloth on everyone's head and takes them out, warning that there will be Jang's people waiting for you there, and since we have the names of your loved ones in our possession, if anyone informs the police, we know to give them a job. People ask each question to the professor. He tells them that I don't know what will happen if a man unlocks 100% and if that happens something big will happen for sure. But they are told that this is just a theory and no one has had any success with it so far. After some time someone changes the cloth on Lucy's head. Now she is on some ship. She is tied there by some people. Maybe their job is to keep the powder inside her safe. So while they have Lucy chained to a chair there, one of the gang tries to physically assault her. Enraged to see that she knocked him out and got hot for him, he drags her to the floor and brutally kicks her in the stomach, chest, etc. When they saw him harassing her like this, those who were with him caught him and took him inside. 
After being kicked so many times in her stomach, the packet inside her stomach ruptures, and the chemicals in it leak into Lucy's body. It changes her. She soars as she rises into the air. And so CPH4 gets mixed up inside her. She suddenly falls as the pupil of her eye turns blue. Then it can be seen that her brain capacity is 20%. Later, when Lucy opens her eyes, blue color can be seen flashing in her eyes. Suddenly she jumps up and sits in her chair as if she heard something. Someone is coming there to hurt her. Anyway, he informs her that he came with the key to her lock and a gun, and places it on the table in a corner of the room. Then when he comes and stands in front of her, Lucy suddenly slaps him and pulls his belt off, and pulls the table closer with the belt. So she takes the gun and goes out. At the same time, in another part, the rest of the people were playing cards and drinking without knowing anything about this. Lucy walks in and kills everyone by shooting them with precision. There, sitting on a chair and eating, she takes out a bullet that was lodged in her shoulder with her bare hand. After that, Lucy goes out and collects the guns and other things that were there and them into a bag. After getting out of there, Lucy walked towards a taxi stand. When a driver was asked if he knew English, he said he didn't, and Lucy shot him in the leg and pointed the gun at the next taxi driver. When he suddenly says that he knows English, Lucy asks him to take her to a hospital right away. Lucy could tell something was happening to her as the packet inside her burst open. So when they go to the hospital, the car stops at a traffic signal. Looking outside the car, Lucy realizes that she can even hear people talking very clearly from far away. So within a short time, they reach in front of a hospital. Walking into the hospital, Lucy can now decipher the Chinese words written there as English words. Looking at it, she finds the operation theater of the hospital and goes there. Some doctors were operating on someone. After looking at the man's x-ray and so on on the screen, Lucy walks towards the operating table pointing a gun at the doctors. She pushes the operating patient over and sits on it. She asks the doctors why they couldn't have saved him by pointing a gun at the stunned doctors, and now they have to operate and remove a packet in the is the stomach. So when a doctor comes over to examine her, Lucy takes his phone out of the doctor's pocket and calls her mother. She tells her mother in the USA about the changes. But she don't understand it. She tells them that she now remembers everything that happened in the past and can know what is happening in her body very clearly, but they do not understand because she does not have the range. Lucy talks to them very emotionally because she feels she is going to die. The doctor meanwhile operates on her stomach and retrieves the blue packet from it. The doctor told her that the packet, which used to weigh 1 kilo, now had only about 400 grams left. Then she asked about the 600 grams in her body and how long it would take for it to be digested by itself, and the doctor replied that he could not say without knowing what this component is. When Lucy heard that its name is CPH4, the doctor was shocked because it is a small amount of chemical produced only in pregnant women who are six weeks pregnant, and it gives the child the power of an atom bomb, and the doctor tells her that it gives energy to the child's intelligence and so on. The doctor tells Lucy that no one has been able to make it artificially, that an adult's body can never handle it in this amount, and that if you haven't done anything wrong so far, it will do something else. So after a while, Lucy walks out of there. From there she walks straight to meet Mr. Jang. Lucy catches up with him to get revenge for what he did to her and to prevent the remaining three packets from being misplaced. Lucy enters a tattoo center with a silencer gun, kills the people there, and goes to the room where Mr. Jang is. Seeing him resting on a sofa, Lucy chases away the people near Mr. Jang, and Lucy sits in front of him and takes two knives from behind and stabs him in both hands. Lucy talks to Mr. Jang who is screaming in pain. Lucy tells him that all he has on his mind right now is the deep pain. Normal people can't bear it or pay attention to anything else with that pain. So after telling him what she is experiencing, Lucy asks Mr. Jang where the rest of the people went. But Jang, writhing in pain, can't hear it. Seeing this, Lucy walks through his memories with her hand on his head and finger on his forehead. Then she realizes where Mr. Jang has given the tickets to the other three people. The next scene begins with Professor Norman arriving at a hotel for the night. After talking to the receptionist there for a while, Norman goes to his room. After talking to Mr. Jang, Lucy later goes to her friend's house. When she sees Lucy, her friend hugs her. But while hugging like that, Lucy unknowingly did a body scan of her friend. After thinking about something for a while, Lucy comes in and asks her if she has a laptop. She buys her laptop. Lucy was typing and searching very quickly on her laptop while her friend sat talking about her stories. But after talking for a while, Lucy tells her what her friend was going to say. When this is shown to us, we can understand that Lucy's brain ability has increased again. 
so she browses on her laptop and within a short time, Lucy searches for Professor Norman and finds him. The professor's full name is Samuel Norman. So a call comes to Samuel Norman's phone. Lucy called him. After telling him her name is Lucy, Lucy tells him that she has read all of Dr. Norman's research papers. But she tells Norman, who can't believe how she read the research with so many papers, that there are 6734 pages of papers, and she knows so many pages now that I can tell without seeing any page. But Norman still thinks it's a prank. When he asks Lucy that, Lucy is talking to Norman through the TV in front of her. Lucy tells Norman about the theory about Norman's brain capacity, who is shocked to see that the person talking to him on the phone has suddenly appeared on TV. She tells him that what he has written till now is correct or not. Lucy tells Norman that she has almost conquered her entire mind and body, and now she can control her body along with her metabolism, and now she can control others. Saying that she now can control basic magnetic and electronic waves, she controls the radio and phone in Norman's room and shows them to Norman. This is how Lucy controlled the TV and phone in front. Sitting and talking to Norman, Lucy tells Norman that now she doesn't feel any of the emotions that make a person human and has started to forget anger, sadness, joy, pain, etc., but she now has access to profound knowledge. She tells him that whenever she tries to access that knowledge, she becomes non-human, but when she tries to remain human, she cannot access that knowledge. Lucy asks the professor what she is supposed to do with the knowledge she gets without humanity. Lucy cuts the call, saying she'll be there in 12 hours when Norman tells her that he doesn't have an answer for what to do with all this knowledge. He says, I think you should pass that knowledge on to the next generation as any cell does. Earlier, when Lucy scanned her friend, Lucy knew about her ailments and so on. So she prints out the medicine and stuff and gives it to her, and Lucy gets out of there. At the same time, Taiwanese police inform TV news that Lucy showed up at the hospital the day before. They are telling people to stay safe until they catch the armed Lucy. Lucy now changed her jet up and came to the airport. She is preparing to go to Professor Norman. She calls someone from the airport. When a person named Del Rio gets the phone in a government office, a US citizen from Taiwan is giving information about a big drug system, and he connects Lucy's call by saying I can connect you with that information. Lucy then tells Del Rio that she has very important information about a large group of drug traffickers and that she needs to speak to someone in authority immediately. Then seeing Del Rio replying to her without much importance, Lucy then tells him to get up and take the pen on the left side to write, he jumps up and looks around. Del Rio, who was surprised how Lucy knew about his name and everything in that room without even a camera, now understands the seriousness of the matter. It now shows that her brain function is at 30%. Del Rio takes the pen that Lucy said and asks her to tell him more. Lucy tells Del Rio that I will now tell the information of three people, and they will land in each place in Europe around the same time. Lucy tells him that they arrive as a kind of drug, so we have to arrest them very carefully, and I have to recover it from them and give that drug for medicinal purposes. When the policeman asks how they smuggle it here, Lucy warns that a packet in the form of powder is hidden inside their intestines, and because it is a very powerful chemical, they should be careful when dealing with it. Saying this, she was standing at the airport when a police dog was coming toward her. But when Lucy looks at the dog carefully, it runs away. After that, Lucy sends the passport details of the three people to Del Rio's computer and gets on the plane. The police caught the person who came to Germany with a packet with the details given by her. Del Rio and his team come and arrest the person who came to Paris. The man who came to Rome ran after seeing the police, but the police chased him and caught him. All this Mr. Jang's people were watching from Dewar. Seeing that the police caught all three of their deliveries correctly, they smelled something fishy in this. Lucy is sitting on the plane and using the laptop, people nearby are amazed to see how fast she can use two laptops at the same time. Then an air hostess comes and asks Lucy to close the laptop. When they asked Lucy if they could close the laptop as it was about to land, Lucy told them they'd better wipe their nose, and a glass of champagne would be nice. Lucy didn't understand what she said, and blood suddenly came out of her mouth. Seeing that, she runs inside and tells someone else to come to Lucy with champagne. After buying it, Lucy takes his mind control and lets him in. Sitting with her laptop closed and sipping champagne, Lucy notices that one of her teeth has dislodged and fallen into the glass. Slowly the rest of the teeth started moving. As the professor said in the class, Lucy's body realizes that it is not an environment in which she can survive, and her body crumbles. Shocked by this, Lucy realizes that she is going to die and runs to the bathroom to close the door. 
but as it is about to land, people knock on the door of the plane asking her to open the door and come out. Inside the bathroom, Lucy's body is disintegrating. Not knowing what to do, Lucy suddenly opens her bag and starts eating the CPH4 worry in it. She gets addicted and stuffs a cotton ball inside her body. This gives her a big reaction. When the chemical was used again in large quantities, it affected every cell of her body, and she passed out in the bathroom. So when the plane landed, she was admitted to the airport hospital there. Now her brain is 50% active. The doctor tells the policeman there that he has given him medicine to keep him awake for a day. Del Rio and his team are among the cops there, so when they ask if she has an operation scar on her stomach, the doctor says that she has a scar on her stomach too. Lucy wakes up in her room at the same time, saying she won't get up for a day. Her body is now unstable, for example, her eyeballs are now human, and now she has to try harder. Because now her body can't fit into the situation. So when Lucy gets up to leave, the cops who are gathered there point their guns at her. Del Rio tells Lucy to put her hands up, and Lucy knocks everyone out together except for him. Del Rio gets scared seeing that, he asked him whether she had gotten those packets safely. When she realized that he had got it, she left the place, saying that the packets would be safe in her hands. The remaining three people were arrested and brought here by the police. To bring the package in their stomach here. But we can see Mr. Jang's man standing in front of it following them. Later, in another scene, Lucy and the policeman are sitting in his car and talking. So while they are talking to each other, Lucy sees the microwaves of Carl's frequency as people talk on the phone around her. So after looking at each frequency, she connects the frequency on which someone is speaking to the car radio. In that car, someone is telling someone the name of the hospital. Knowing this, Lucy immediately buys a police car and starts driving. He tries to stop her because it's a police car, but she uses her powers to force him to drive away. Now the police are preparing to operate on them in that hospital and recover the package. When he was sitting like that, a man said that he was a German citizen, and therefore he wanted to see Lorraine, and they were trying to stop him from taking the packet. Because he knows that they know the details of their family. However, the police recovered those packets. At that time, when a policeman went out to get food for the rest, Mr. Jang's men came to the hospital room with silenced guns and killed the doctors and policemen there. So Jang is going to pick up those packets, so they take two packets from it and put them in the box. Understanding that such things are happening here, Lucy is coming to the hospital in her car. But other police cars are coming after the car goes over speed. Lucy shows a lot of stunts in the car and finally reaches the hospital. Jang's men shoot and kill the officer who had gone to collect food earlier when he returns. So while the shootout is going on there, a person runs out of the room. But they come down and shoot him too. Lucy and Del Rio were there when he fell to the floor. Now Jang's people have got two packets. There is one in the stomach of the dead man. Jang's men are now gunning for Lucy. Because of her, they have suffered a great loss. But Lucy uses her power to hang them up. Lucy takes the box from his hand, stopping him as he is holding the suitcase. Then Lucy walks back and takes the last package from the dead man's stomach and puts it in the box. Leaving Lucy's packet behind, they leave. As they leave there Mr. Jang sees them. Now Professor Norman and some of his colleagues are at their university talking about Lucy. Lucy is proof that Norman's brain theory is right. So as they stand, Lucy calls out to Norman. Lucy arrives just as the professor tells her that he is no longer at the hotel but the university. Because now she can find people. She can now read someone's name and memories very easily. When Lucy tells the doctors this, one of the doctors in the group tells her to prove it. And so he tells Lucy his name and his daughter's name, the accident he had in the past, etc. very accurately. At the same time, Mr. Jang and his mum's team had also arrived there following Lucy. Jang's main assistant comes to him and says that Lucy killed five of their men, and we have about 25 left. Jang then tells him that he knows that Lucy is no longer a normal woman, and that I will kill her with his own hands. Realizing that Jang is there, Lucy asks Del Rio that it's important for me to pay attention here, and can you hold them back for a while. Even though Del Rio is bringing more cops there, Mr. Jang and his men are ready to come in with more guns and stuff. Mr. Jang enters, killing all the security guards at the university. His goal is to kill Lucy. When Del Rio saw it and told Lucy, with Lucy's consent, Norman and the other doctors prepared to inject the rest of the CPH4 powder into Lucy's body. Meanwhile, Lucy talks to the professor about physics. Lucy says that time is the basis of everything. Lucy inhales the rest of the chemicals as Jang and the police car exchange fire. Del Rio is shot in the middle of a shootout between Jang and Asi. 
Thus, Lucy's brain capacity rises to 70% and stands near her collapse. As she sits there, her fingers start to turn black. That black color comes out of her and comes to the front and climbs into the things that are there, and she takes the computers and stuff that are there, and she tries to make a supercomputer that fills her with knowledge. Now 80% of Lucy's capacity is unlocked. Then she builds that supercomputer in another reality. Then Lucy's brain capacity rises from 80% to 90%. Then Mr. Jang starts shooting outside. In return, the police are also firing and stopping them. Meanwhile, he uses his assistant to break down the main door with a rocket launcher to get to Lucy. But with this much brain capacity unlocked, Lucy can travel to the past and the future. Thus departed Lucy can see and know from the genesis of the Earth. There, she sees a monkey named Lucy, whom Richard told. So she knows the whole world. Now Lucy's body has turned almost black. Then Mr. Jang comes into the room and comes from behind and points a gun at Lucy. After she saves all her knowledge on that computer, she turns completely black. So when her brain is 100%, Jang shoots her. But by the time she reaches 100% she is ice free. When Mr. Jang, who doesn't understand what happened, asks the doctors who are standing there to answer where Lucy went, Del Rio comes from behind and shoots him. So after killing him, when he looked there, a pen drive came towards the professor from that supercomputer. The professor takes the pen drive, and the computer crumbles to pieces. All of Lucy's knowledge is now on that pen drive. Del Rio then asks them where Lucy is when a text message arrives on his phone. The film ends with Del Rio looking around at the message. I am everywhere. Lucy answers the first question. She asks us by saying that we know what we can do with the life we got billions of years ago. So goodbye until I return next week with a great new movie.